Okay, it's Sunday morning, and uh, I'm going to do a little bit of work today. Um, let's take a quick look at what we did yesterday. Starting to kind of come together as a car here. Something that can actually be driven. Matt got the uh, steering wheel installed, and we just went with a real basic uh, Grant GT wheel. So uh, I'll double-check that one. I want to make sure that one's on there correctly. I don't need to be having a steering wheel coming off going down the road. Um, the shifter, we've got to get a, a linkage for that. Um, and in fact, I found one on from a guy on Super Forms that uh, you know links up this uh, lever here up up to the uh, switch on the on the transmission. So I've got that on order, and it'll be here next week. And uh, we'll figure out. Uh, wanted to get the seat in here, get it bolted in, and you know get a good position for the for the shifter, and we'll get it mounted. And then uh, Matt, uh, since he's already built a speaker box he can uh, he can go ahead and start uh, fabbing up a console we'll make a plate and cover up the old four speed shifter hole there or three speed whatever this thing came with and uh, you know seal that off so and the other thing that we're working on is the wiring and I've started uh, removing the harness um, I'm gonna take it to uh, or send it off and get it converted over to uh, US USDM colors and, and pinouts so that we can figure out how to wire it correctly. And it should almost be plug and play when we get it back from them. So uh, that'll make it a lot easier than, than chasing down wires. But this, uh, so just, you know, this thing uh, loops around over here. And, uh, you know, this set of connectors comes over here to the mass air sensor and the, all the turbo sensors and this little subsection here goes off for the uh, uh, for the coil packs and then uh, down to the main harness right here and I got that unbolted and uh, this splits back off here and goes back to the transmission all those are disconnected and just need to disconnect this section here which goes up in here to, um, to all the injectors and a couple of sensors up here water temp sensor and things like that air temp sensor Okay, here's the harness off the car. As you can see, it's uh, quite a big spaghetti nest there. So uh, we uh, put a few labels uh, and marked all the connectors, and hopefully they come back marked the same way because we, we mark the corresponding sensor and whatnot on the car, so we make it a little easier. I mean, we can figure it out, but make it a little easier just to match it up by number when we get ready to put it all back on. So, uh, and then there's the the cut harness from uh, you know where the uh, transporters uh, or the dismantlers just cut it when they pulled the engine out of the car so anyway off to Dr. Tweak for a uh, conversion over to USDM harness